North Carolina's automatic enrollment policy was passed in 2018, and the intention is to make sure that every student who is qualified for advanced math coursework gets put into that class. I hadn't realized as a math educator how ubiquitous this problem was, that the way you got access to advanced math was by teacher recommendation, not by objective scores. Unfortunately, thousands of students miss an opportunity to be enrolled in advanced math courses simply because the opportunity gap exists. We start to define math policies in early elementary school. This kid's a math kid, this kid's not a math kid. Some students are overlooked in our public education classrooms. And what we have to do is more intentionally ensure that we are closing the opportunity gaps, especially for those students from low-income households. When we discovered that students were not getting access to coursework, what you realized was that you have students who are harmed by it. But also as, as a state, we're leaving our bench behind. What's exciting about the business community is that we can lean in and work with legislators who in this case, both had a passion for this, but they were on opposite sides of the aisle and wouldn't have had that conversation without us helping make that happen. A lot of people look at this bill as something that's just common sense that should be done for everybody. Nobody needs to be excluded. This is the absolute best piece of legislation I've done, and I'm very proud of it. The reality of the situation is that a lot of these kids who were impacted were minority kids. We know through numerous studies that the number one indicator for student economic success for first-generation college students to be successful in four universities is early access to math. And so we're going to see a workforce where kids are going to be more qualified to do the kinds of jobs of the future. We've set them up for success. When you're looking at advanced math classes, there's so many other elements that come into it. The critical thinking, the collaboration with others, the learner's mindset. A child, when they're recognized as being able to take that next step forward, they stand a little taller, they smile a little brighter. A lot of the times we work on policies and initiatives that take 10 or even 20 years to implement. This is one that you pass it, students are impacted, right? It's one of those wonderful opportunities where it was filed, it passed in 30 days, and that summer, thousands of students were moved to the proper class. I tell all of my colleagues who are other state directors, start with this. It's data that already exists. There are classrooms that are already there. Let's expand this opportunity across the country. But in the absence of federal legislation, we really need states and districts to step up. Just after the policy changed, my, my son and his friend were in the back seat of the car and we were driving along and he said, Mom, you passed that policy when you're too late. My friend didn't get into that class. And so I, I just always think about that when we're doing our work with that sense of urgency that we can't afford to be one year too late. Every year matters. It's about how do we ensure that we are expanding excellence to ensure that students can flourish. Who can say no to that? It just makes sense. It is a no-brainer. If you earn it, you get it.